Uh, Manchester United putting out a statement today that they have left Cristiano Ronaldo out of their match day squad for the game at Stamford Bridge against Chelsea this weekend. That's after he uh, allegedly, reportedly today, uh, refused to come on as a substitute against Spurs last night. He's put a statement out this evening, which reads, it's on social media, as I've always done throughout my career, I try to live and play respectfully towards my colleagues, my adversaries and my coaches. That hasn't changed. I haven't changed. I'm the same person and the same professional that I've been the last 20 years playing elite football. And respect has always played a very important role in my decision-making process. I started very young. The older and most experienced players' examples were always very important to me. Therefore, later on, I've always tried to set the example myself for the youngsters that grew in all the teams that I've represented. Unfortunately, that's not always possible, and sometimes the heat of the moment gets the best of us. Right now, I just feel that I have to keep working hard in Carrington, support my teammates, and be ready for everything in any given game. Giving in to the pressure is not an option. It never was. This is Manchester United and United we must stand. Soon we'll be together again. What do you make of that, Jermaine Pennant? Pathetic. Mm. Absolutely pathetic. End of the day, be a man. Own up to your mistake and say, do you know what? Hands up. I I, I messed up here. I sincerely apologise to him. Firstly, my teammates, my manager, the club and the fans. Um, and we'll work and, you know, do what's necessary. But that statement there is not taking no accountability. For no, his, for no his, apology. No, no apology. It's, it's about him, about, you know, I, I've, I've done this, I've done that, this, you know, we, this, it's, it's a load of nonsense. It's just PR for him. It's PR for him and not what he should be doing. So it's pathetic. I, I agree. I, I think that, and it's also a lie to say that he's always been a, you know, a, a team player, and he's put himself. Because I think throughout his career, he's always been about himself. I, I don't think you can get seven hundred goals unless you have, unless you have a very, um, a centre drive to want to be the best. And it's worked in the past because he's been part of teams that have won stuff. So both parties, if you like, have benefited the team and himself. Now he's not in a great team. But we're just seeing now that he's very, very. I think he's been very, very selfish. Um, and I, yeah, I think the, the 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 statement he's put out there is all to change or control the narrative of, uh, about him um, and, and what he's had there. And I think to have not, to not even have an apology. Yeah, I think that's a key thing. If there's, there's not even a sorry to the fans, to my teammates, my manager. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not having him. All it was was a statement of, of mitigation, yeah. if you like, pure excuses yeah, no, 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 uh, yeah, from it. Cristiano Ronaldo as a Manchester United fan. I think they deserve a little bit better than seeing such a legend of their club not apologise for what he did. I think, you know, it's a long statement. There was plenty of room for at least an apology mm. to, to the manager, um, to your teammates, to the fans as well. Um, and, and for me, again, like you both said, it's just a case of him wanting to control the narrative, wanting to reshape the tomorrow's headlines in his favour. And for me, yeah, very, very, very disappointed by that. Uh, Jermaine, we've got about a minute to go. Um, just before we do, your reaction to Aston Villa's defeat tonight, 3-0 against Fulham. Uh, they had Douglas Luiz sent off for a, a alleged headbutt, if you like. Um, what do you think the future will be for Steven Gerrard at Aston Villa? It's so sad to see, so sad to say. What a, you know, a legend, Liverpool icon, to go out like this. I don't think there's any coming back from that. Uh, a defeat of that nature against Fulham. We're expected to win. Villa really, I, I can't see him going into tomorrow taking the training session I think unfortunately we'll, I think we'll get a couple more games but I think it's. do you? I think we're seeing now okay. the end the, the, the beginning oh. of the end it wasn't just a 3-0 win it, it could have been 6 or 7 it was the way they lost they lost convincingly to Fulham 3-0 so yeah I, I think if he's not sacked this week I think he's got a game or two max left in it Kick off with Hugh Woosencroft Tuesday to Thursday night 7 till 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.